evening friends uh, this is mahesh gosavi your host and welcome to my channel motormax today we are going to review a very very special car uh, which is bmw new x1 which has been launched very recently we are going to talk about all the important parts we are going to compare this vehicle with other vehicles more importantly i am going to tell you five unique things about bmw x1 which will help you to make your decision so stay tuned and let's go to the next segment so friends uh, we'll first start with the exterior of uh, new bmw but before that let me give you one compliment to bmw x1 uh, it looks that uh, you know this the previous preceder uh, bmw generation it went through the gym they have got the muscles they have got the additional power they have got the additional body uh, stretch and then after the gym they went to the spa and parlor because it looks big it looks beautiful and it looks out of a different proportion altogether and the whole effect of this uh, uh, is quite visible because if you can see the length has been increased by 42 cm because of that uh, you know it, it looks quite stretched the height has been increased by almost 44 mm so it looks even even amazing uh, the ground clearance is almost 170 mm which is quite good and the width has been increased by 18 mm so all in all if you look at you know it looks altogether a different bmw x1 in fact it looks x3 it is as as close uh, as x3's dimension goes and that's where it has created that amazing feel good factor for all the bmw buyers because the complaint with bmw x1 was it it rides well uh, but it, it looks small it doesn't look the suv but now it has been completely revamped and it looks aesthetically beautiful and it looks visually amazing it's third generation of the very successful bmw x1 the car looks hot and i'll tell you why so the latest generation of the x1 had to once again really stand out because this segment unlike the first generation stuff has become really crowded and really successful so the car had to look the part it had to look butch it had to look big and it had to look more and more like an suv and i think the designers have achieved that because there's a lot of muscles and there's a lot of hip in that face that big bmw grill really does work it looks proportional actually to this face the fact that it's finished in silver on this particular trim i think it's helping that somewhat the new interpretation of the twin ring lights that's also something you see over here and then of course you have got an ample amount of height a good greenhouse that again gives it more suv grit i mean the last generation achieved that compared to the first one but on third it's been exaggerated but it's been exaggerated well you also see some nice modern touches like flush door handles we just have recess to open them that's quite nicely done and then at the back i think the overall look and signature tech like once again makes the car more recognizable in traffic so people are going to like it this color certainly works for me the new x1 is bigger than its predecessor in size so friends let me quickly cover the uh, important part of the exterior so that you all can understand uh, the design language of this entire bmw x1 first and foremost whenever you look at this car the first attention seeker part will be this grill it's massive it's beautiful and it's really intruded in the entire proportion of this uh, bmw and looks absolutely great and on top of it you can see bmw logo which has been stamped right in the middle then interestingly you can see these two intruded lines on the bonnet it gives a different muscle feeling uh, to the entire part and body language of this car and whenever you drive you you get a different visibility and different feel because of this intruded lines and it, it comes out it fished in quite well in, in the overall design then let's move to the adaptive led again quite quite effective quite powerful and they work as per the requirement quickly let's go through the uh, tire size you know it's 18 uh, by 225 uh, profiling 
so which is again quite a good uh, uh, in terms of overall it's getting well into the entire proportion it doesn't look touch low so so that gives a suv kind of feel quite well and then you can see this m batch uh, which uh, denotes uh, the higher end of this version which is a diesel diesel version then you have this plush handles you know again uh, quite a rich feel and quickly we can uh, come here to the back side of the car from the exterior standpoint and it looks amazing i haven't seen this kind of 3d uh, looks in in uh, this proportion and then you can see uh, there's a <coughs> spoiler and this this black piano black looks extremely good uh, with the overall silver concepts so all in all i'll give 4.5 out of 5 for the exteriors and it definitely looks quite interesting so let's see what's inside the bigger change is on the inside while the last car also felt roomy this one makes better use of cabin space and throws in hips of tech with i drive 8.0 modern cabin and all the new styling elements you have seen from bmw on its recent car showing up on x1 so you get the single curved screen which has the new graphics and new interface for the latest i drive and you have got this sort of floating console it's kind of like what you saw on the new ix now it's been sort of carried over to this it's nice because it gives car a slightly slimmer and therefore roomier effect the color palette and you know the different textures you are seeing here especially like this metal well all of this that is going to be customizable the steering also looks lighter paddle shifts nicely shaped the whole thing kind of goes together there's an angularity to the overall shape and pattern of everything that i like The last bit I want to talk about is gearbox. The conventional gear stick is gone. You have got just this little notch here. Now a squarish rectangular start-stop button. The curved screen looks like one single composite unit, but it has a 10.25 inch digital cluster and a 10.7 inch touch screen for the inf infotainment and connectivity. Yes. totally new cabin design and more functional and ergonomic too and you notice that more when you are on the road so friends uh, let me start with the interior and wow what a what a amazing interior it feels premium uh, i was impressed with uh, the exteriors but the moment i entered in this looks something different everything has been worked upon quite minutely and beautification is out of the world you see and touch whatever is here and you feel premium so again amazing work uh, done by bmw team and it definitely looks like a one crore car i am very eager to drive this uh, uh, bmw x1 and it has exceeded my expectations in terms of uh, the superior quality of interiors the aesthetic part again the beautification and overall fit and finish of everything whatever you touch it just looks of the world wow wow the first thing let me tell you it gives a exact exact definition of an suv because i am sitting at the position wherein it's quite high up it's quite visible in terms of the entire thing i can see the bonnet i can see those intruded lines uh, so the sitting position again 9 on 10 it it definitely gives you the the suv feel which which everyone wants to be in everyone wants to sit a little bit higher everyone wants to have this visibility and this comfort of driving is just amazing the ride quality i must tell you it it rides so well there's no body roll uh, and and the overall suspension quality is again 9 on 10 they have really worked very very well on the suspension part i cannot feel any noise uh, from the outside 
uh, so that again uh, is a great thing with what BMW has provided. The steering feedback and feel is exceedingly good. Where it, it it takes me exactly where I'm I want to go, which is another different confidence while driving. All in all, I must say you know it's it's fun to drive. I'm not feeling anywhere underpowered because this engine has been toned down uh, to 150 bhp uh, for 2000 cc. But uh, let me tell you, I'm not feeling any uh, uh, you know urge of power. It, it's quite linear. It's going quite in a kinetic way. And I'm pretty happy, absolutely happy with the overall performance of this vehicle. I'm just loving it, you know, the driving pleasure as they say. BMW is a driving machine and I can vouch for it. After driving this vehicle, you, you will have that smile on your face. You will feel that wanting to drive more, more and more. And that's the kind of happiness this car is giving me at the moment. This, this part of the driving, you know, the, the turns, twist, but this, this is taking, taking it up so well uh, that I'm just loving this experience. So friends, I'm at the back seat of uh, BMW X1 finally. Interestingly, I never wanted to come back because I was enjoying my driving so much. Having said so, uh, there's a absolutely great knee room. Uh, there's a good, good uh, room overall you can see the massive uh, sunroof which gives quite airy feeling uh, to say the least and it's it's great place to be in uh, there's a good uh, amount of uh, room available uh, and it's quite plush interiors uh, which which you can feel it again there's a ac vent uh, for the people who are sitting at back side and uh, three people can be a little tough but uh, you know two people can sit comfortably and enjoy their drive here you can see the two cup holders and overall fit and finish is again superb it continues from where we left uh, from ahead and uh, it's massive it's, it, it feels nice Good. so friends uh, let's start with the unique features of BMW X1 we have seen the exterior we have seen the interior uh, we have seen how it drives uh, but important segment is what how it differentiates and the five distinctive point which I felt uh, they, they have a unique selling proposition which differentiates uh, to their competitors and these are unique functions I haven't seen this any time before uh, during my reviews uh, so let's start with the first unique feature and that is nothing but this floating console look at this no, there, there's no switches on the dashboard all the switches has been organized like a floating unit like a floating console and it looks amazingly well futuristic it looks digital and it looks one of its sort so you can see you can put your hand here and you can just operate at ease you don't need to move your hand you can change the gears you can change the modes you can have the auto hold function you can change the volume you can fast forward uh, the songs basically there's a parking light here so everything is very well included in the entire console and this looks something very different which, which at present uh, no car has this kind of floating switches uh, which are very unique in nature. Now let's move to the next feature, uh, unique feature of BMW X1. Uh, you can see these blue lights, you know, uh, these are ambient lighting uh, as, as they call it. So BMW has again <coughs> cracked the code here because this looks amazingly well during evening uh, and night times you know it gives a different visibility it gives a different feel altogether and uh, let me just show you the multiple options which you can operate in and you can change accordingly so this is the uh, floating infotainment system again okay and you see interior lighting here so if you it's it's very fluid uh, it's very nice to use very intuitive the uh, the ui part is very well designed incorporated embedded into the system if you click the interior lighting button you can see multiple options ambience lighting you can see here you can click here and now you get multiple colors so color you can choose as per your choice you can see now it is red at the moment You can see yellow, now 
this is a rose type of color so this this is a second unique point about uh, ambient lighting uh, which is very well incorporated in the system uh, now the third important uh, unique feature of BMW X1 is very much this curved system so it has a infotainment system of 10.7 inch and 10.25 inch digital instrument so I haven't seen this kind of curve anywhere at any vehicle so it gives a different visibility while, while driving I'm not getting distracted I can see the screen pretty well because of the curve nature okay and this system is amazingly equipped with all functions you can have media you can have calls you can have navigations and it's massive means visibility is quite good so this curve part is the third unique part about BMW X1 and it's massive it's it's amazing uh, the next important part again is the modes which uh, fourth uh, unique part is the modes they have you know so different mode will have a different efficiency levels uh, it will have a different functions expressive is more about uh, speed you know then then there's a relax uh, mode you know this is again unique because in relax mode uh, the seat uh, you know you'll get massage from the seat and that's again something very different you know so so time for the final verdict uh, i just love the entire experience of this bmw x1 uh, from an exterior uh, point of view again it's massive it has come up really well the proportion the overall dimensions uh, it looks quite big uh, it looks uh, the suv because of its cars uh, because of the aesthetics because of the overall uh, the beholding value of the entire proportion is quite good when you come to interior again they are superb supremely superb i must say uh, you get a feel that you are sitting uh, and driving a car of 1 crore rupees uh, so extremely plush uh, interiors uh, the quality is supreme the drive and ride quality is 10 on 10 you don't feel that you are driving a diesel engine uh, it's, it's very quiet uh, the performance uh, is quite up to the mark uh, you go backside and you know there's ample amount of space available there's a massive sunroof uh, the tech part the ui interface uh, is intuitive and <clears throat> again uh, the overall things which i discussed about are five unique things about bmw x1 really keeps it quite ahead than its competitors so there are three major competitors uh, one is uh, first one is mercedes gla uh, then we have uh, recently launched audi q3 and then you have Volvo XC40. So Mercedes uh, is quite good from outside. Again, uh, it looks good. Uh, having said, uh, said that, you know, proportion-wise, it's it's shorter. It's uh, the length is uh, you know quite uh, 20 mm less than this. Uh, the overall fit and finish uh, is not this great. And the more uh, importantly, you know, when you sit at the back seat in Mercedes GLA, the Overall lines are quite up, so you feel claustrophobic. Uh, Average-wise, also this is better. When it comes to Audi Q3, uh, it, it's not well organized. I, I must say the cabin uh, particularly. Uh, it it not it doesn't look in proportion uh, per se, and uh, there's no comparison for this interior and interior of Audi. And XC40 is again uh, the touch screen has been uh, vertically placed, uh, so it looks a bit odd. Uh, though though it's it's good car to drive in, uh, but in this comparison, you know BMW X1 is way ahead. Uh, they have worked on every part of it, and they have a winner in hand. So I am very sure, as a final verdict, that BMW has nailed it this time, and this vehicle will be the game changer for BMW. So enjoy riding, have a safe ride. Please like and subscribe our channel, Motor Max. We are going to get many more such videos in-depth analysis, in-depth review. So please tune in. Thank you so much and have a nice time.